These plans are some of the oldest items in Historic Royal Palace's architectural drawings collection, and together they provide an insight into how the face of the Tower of London was transformed during the reign of Queen Victoria. These drawings shed a light on a transformational period in the tower's history. They reveal how the Beecham Tower was given a significant makeover by the architect Anthony Salvin that would set in process the re-medievalisation of the fortress over the rest of the 19th century. During this period, several parts of the tower would undergo restoration to return them to what was thought was a more authentic historical appearance. This drawing, which was made in 1851, shows the Beecham Tower in plan. You can see the Beecham Tower in the centre of the plan here, coloured in orange. This was a 13th century tower that had been built by King Edward I. But by 1851, it had become quite neglected and several other more modern brick buildings had been built up around its base. These were houses for the residents of the tower and we can see that this was the house of Yeoman Warder Dorrington and this one was where Yeoman Warder Fryer lived. There was also a governor's coach house. The tower's authorities decided that the Beecham Tower should be restored so that it could be opened up to the public to see the historic graffiti carved into the walls by former prisoners. The man they called in to oversee the restoration was the Gothic Revival architect Anthony Salvin. Amazingly, we can still see which of the buildings Salvin crossed out, together with a note and even the architect's signature. What I love about this drawing is how it so clearly plays a role as a tool of communication. The drawing is almost like an actor playing a part in the story. So here we are outside the Beecham Tower, which we were just looking at in the plans. On Salvin's recommendation, the modern buildings that were obscuring the Beecham Tower were demolished, revealing the complete facade for the first time in decades. Once the houses had been removed, the rest of the tower could be restored. Salvin repaired the windows, repaired the interiors, reinstated the battlements and refaced the entire exterior, giving the Beecham Tower its present appearance. Salvin's work set the mould for the restoration of the tower over the next 50 years. During this period, several parts of the tower were re medievalised including the Salt Tower, St Thomas's Tower and of course the White Tower. But it was also during this period that some of the most important historical remains at the tower were destroyed, including the last remnants of the medieval palace. Today, Salvin's drawing lives here in the plans room at the Tower of London, along with 30,000 other architectural drawings, each of which has its own story to tell. And that's what makes this collection so important for the history of the palaces.